What's going on, everybody? So today we're talking about me changing my mind. Um, in a couple of previous videos, I talked about how I have been really enjoying the Demon Hunter, and that is 100% true. And you guys saw that I posted my Demon Hunter guide. The reason why I decided to put that video out that time is because we we're actually going to be swapping classes. Now, this is something that I was not expecting on doing, but with the news of the recent patch that came out, as well as no confirmation from Blizzard that the Blood Knight is coming, I figured let's swap things up. Let's go ahead and swap to another class so that I can go ahead and try out some new builds with the new legendary items that came. Not only that, but also with the addition of the recent patches, we have the Hell 7 and Hell 8. So I have been pre-farming, and actually I've been pre-farming quite a bit, and I realized well, I still have, for one, it's Silver Paragon 434. I'm currently eight levels below Silver Paragon, trying to catch up because I was kind of on vacation from the holidays. Um, but actually, we're going the wrong way, guys. <laughs> um, but you'll see here, I actually pre-farmed a decent amount. Now, uh, you know, I've been farming, I want to say like, I don't know, seven, eight hours in Hell 7, um, which, by the way, you don't always get the Hell 7 pieces if you're open world farming because you get the Beast Jerry, which is a lot of your legendary income. Um, so I have all these items. We're going to identify them and see if I get anything absolutely insane. Uh, no triple stats, so I'm not too worried about that. But you can see here, I've actually farmed quite a bit. And I figured, okay, if we're going to have to refarm all of our set items, anyways, one, two, refarm all of our legendary items, right now is the perfect time to go and swap classes because that'll let me go and basically swap classes without any fear of me getting set back at all, right? Because if I were to swap classes when I already was at Hell 5, then the problem would have happened was I would have had to go and refarm everything for set items, which I would have already had great set items and I would have already had great legendary items. And so now I have to refarm them all. Um, I guess not legendary items necessarily, but if I'm pre-farming anyways, there's no reason why I shouldn't swap classes now if I wanted to. And the reason I decided again is because I figured if the Blood Knight's gonna be a long ways away, I have a lot of legendary items to test that I haven't tested yet. For Demon Hunter here, guys, just to show you all, if I jump over to my Essence Transfer, because I've been playing for so long on the Demon Hunter, we've actually acquired every single legendary essence in the entire game. And I've went over and went over all the builds in my previous Demon Hunter guide. I've tested every single one of these legendary items. Um, I don't necessarily do videos on every single one of them because not everyone wants to see them. So I don't necessarily do videos on them, uh, but I have tested it for my own personal interest. And uh, I've been having a ton of fun with the Demon Hunter. My favorite build recently has been the Knife Trap one, which I went over in a recent video. And I've been running actually Explosive Arrow just because I think it's fun to look at. Not that I think it's actually exceptionally good, but I'm running a Continuous Damage Demon Hunter build, which I've been really enjoying. But I've kind of run out of things to test on the Demon Hunter. I've tested the new Escape items with the new um, Loom Guide set. I've tested the new... Um, buzzard with the permanent bithus i've tested all this different stuff in my build i personally have been running a lot of high combat rating pieces instead uh, because i have no interest in you know running um you know bithus over high combat rating because the high combat rating increases your damage a lot more if you're below the combat rating of your level so outside of just doing testing for my own personal enjoyment i'm kind of done with the demon hunter and to be honest, I've kind of beaten the game in terms of classes, except for the new legendary items. Now, what class are we swapping to today? I know a lot of you were like, oh, I hope you come back to Crusader at some point. And I thought about it, guys. I thought about it, okay? I thought about it. I know DM is just swapping to Barbarian, um, and uh, he swaps classes quite often. Um, I've been on the Demon Hunter for a long time, but uh, I don't want to go back to the Barbarian. There's too many bugs for me to go back to the Barbarian, okay? Even though I really enjoyed it. The Monk was really fun, but it was kind of awkward. I found um, it wasn't as strong as some of these other classes for just farming. And the Crusader is actually one of the strongest farmers, in my opinion, with the movement abilities, with the banner, and a great for dungeons, but they're melee. I don't want to play a melee class, okay? Melee classes are really irritating to me. Um, because of the farming and everything like that. 
And so then we have, if you can see, I have previous class on every single one of them, by the way. Necromancer and Wizard left. I am not going back to Necromancer. I don't want to go back to Necromancer right now. So that leaves Wizard. We are going to be going to Wizard today. This is a class that I personally really, really enjoyed. I enjoyed it in PvP. I enjoyed it in um, PvE. I've thought about Necromancer just because of the, the ship farming applications, guys. You know, you know me. But we're going to be swapping to the Wizard. And I'm pretty excited about this because Wizard has been my favorite class. Um, and uh, I found that uh, it's very, very fun to go ahead and... Wait. Uh, yeah, okay. We have a Warband thing. I was just wondering if I was going to ruin my gear. But I've been really interested in class, class swapping back to Wizard, but I didn't want to refarm all my set items. But because we're refarming all of our set items because of the new Hell difficulties, this is the perfect time. I didn't want to do it because of the intelligence-based set items, right? You can't do strength and intelligence, which is why I was never planning on going back to the wizard. But here we are, guys. We are back to the wizard. And I mean, look at this skin, by the way. Wait. Is it? Uh, hold on, wait, hold on, wait. Yeah, this is the... I like this skin. This is the Diablo 4 pre-order skin, by the way. And I really like it, actually. I could run, I could run the, the fire theme. Or just the winged darkness weapon. I actually like this skin a lot. And oh my goodness, we are back to the wizard with the teleport and woo, I'm so excited guys. We also saved the battle pass of level 10 reward if we're missing any of the new um, items. So let me just go over to the to wizard essence transfer here and see. You can see here, I'm missing the two new ones. And uh, we are actually getting an offhand here. So let me just check the offhand. So we are offhand, right? So we have Blaster Cast and Alder Crystal. Let me just check here and if, see if I have either one of those. We do not. So Magic Missile fires two additional missiles. Ooh. See, this is all, I'm already super excited about this. Let me check that one out. That sounds so interesting, actually. I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to test that one out. Let's try that one. Boom, we have it. Is it an improvement? It's not an improvement, but it doesn't matter because we can extract it now. That's so cool. Let's try this out. I want to try this out right now. Because <laughs> I'm excited about this. All right, let's try this out. So we have two additional ma missiles. Oh, look at that. That's actually pretty cool. Um, that might be something I'm going to be using for open world farming. Wow, that's really cool, actually, guys. Wow, I'm already super excited. <laughs> Let's go! Wizard is back, baby! This is the class I enjoyed the absolute most, um, bar none. I love the mobility on this with the teleport. I love being able to be able to teleport over walls. I love the range aspect. I love the combos that you can apply. I love everything about the wizard. Um, and rightfully so. I mean, people consider this the strongest class in the game in terms of PvP, and I would agree with them. In terms of PvE, I probably wouldn't, um, but it is still a very strong class in PvP and PvE, and so I'm very excited to be back on the Wizard. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I know a lot of you uh, were excited that I was playing Demon Hunter, and I know a lot of you wanted to see me play another class, uh, too. I wanted, A lot of people wanted me to see go back to Crusader because that was my initial class and that's the one I played arguably the most because that was the time I was playing literally 16 hours a day. So I probably have played the Crusader the most out of any class. Wizard probably the second most because that was another time when I was playing a ton of time. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is super exciting and I'm excited to finally be back to a class that I consider to be my favorite class in this ent entire game. Um, Demon Hunter is probably my second favorite class, but regardless guys, so excited, excited to use the new offhand, excited to play the class again. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys want any wizard content um, in the comment section down below as well, uh, because I am pretty excited to be a wizard again. And so I'm going to be testing out all the new legendary items. I'm going to have to go grind my set items again, uh, because right now I have, you know, oh, I actually have to go uh, get that. Uh... Oh, wait, no, this is a strength item. No, we lost about 300 combo rating. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, this was a... 180, 180, 180 piece, and we have a 61, 71 piece right now. So, okay, we have a lot to do, guys. We have a lot to do. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you all tomorrow.